what is it about conservative beliefs that makes people so angry? And I'm like, what is it about what I believe that's triggering you so badly? Hi, hello. Uh, perpetually triggered leftist snowflake here. This is a great question and I'd love to get into it with you. I have so many reasons why the things that conservatives believe bother me. It's such a very long list. Should I start or... Is it that I think babies have the right to be born? Oh, okay. You're gonna start. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is a great example. Just sort of in the abstract and on the outset here, the way that you're even framing this is it's a great example of what it is about conservatives that is so bothersome to us on the left. You're just presenting the ideological disagreement over abortion in such a massively, grotesquely oversimplified way, right? It's not just the pro-baby ideology and the anti-baby ideology. It's more complicated and nuanced than that, obviously. Conservatives tend to believe that the life of the baby that is growing in utero and the bodily autonomy of that baby is more important than the life and the bodily autonomy of the person who is carrying that baby. And people on the left tend to believe that the bodily autonomy and the life of the person who is already alive and carrying that baby trumps the bodily autonomy and the life of the baby that is growing inside of that person. And even that is a massive oversimplification, but it's a lot closer to a more accurate description than what you just said. There's all kinds of little micro disagreements within this ideological dispute that make it even more complex. There's the whole issue over like when a zygote becomes a human person. There's of course the question of the morality and the ethics of abortion. Look, I don't want to spend the rest of the video talking about abortion. That's not the purpose of this video. This isn't a video where I'm just having the abortion debate with you. The purpose of this video is to try and answer your central question of what is it about conservative beliefs that bother people like me so much. So suffice it to say for now that there's just a whole lot more to be said about abortion than I just said. But that's sort of the whole point is like what bothers me so much about what you just said is the disingenuous way that you decided to frame the abortion debate. You're not engaging with the topic in an intellectually honest or serious way, and that's really annoying and frustrating. Is it that I think that humans should have had the right to choose not to take part in a scientific experiment in 2021? Yeah, see, uh, you're doing it again. You're, you're not framing that ideological disagreement Correctly, you're saying that people on the right, conservatives, believe that people should have the right to not participate in getting a vaccine, which implies that people on the left believe that you should not have the right to opt out of getting a vaccine. It should be mandatory and it should be forced on you. What's more accurate is that we were in the middle of a global health emergency that was very scary and we were looking for solutions and new information every day. And a lot of people across the world were trying to the best of our abilities to minimize the harm done and minimize casualties to the species by taking certain measures, whether that was sheltering in place and working from home and leaving our homes minimally, whether that was social distancing in public and washing our hands more often than we normally would, whether that was wearing masks, or whether that was getting vaccinated. And throughout this whole long, frustrating, scary, confusing ordeal, probably the most obnoxious and infuriating aspect of the whole thing was how terrible conservatives were about it. You just weren't down to play team ball at any stage of any of this. You couldn't be bothered to do any of the things I just mentioned to try to help the greater good. You just couldn't be bothered to do it. You took a common enemy that threatened every country on earth, every single person on earth. You took a thing that should have unified everyone everywhere and never should have been political and you somehow bafflingly managed to make it political. And like, you didn't have a good reason for doing it. You didn't have any good arguments. The global medical science community was just overwhelmingly against you. But still, vitally, and it's really important to me that you hear me on this, to this day, you have the right to do that. You were always allowed to do that and you are still allowed to do that. And people on the left were never trying to make it against the law 
for you to do that. We were always okay with you having the right to behave like just the worst people. We were just asking you to please stop acting like the worst people. And that was too much of an ask. Is it that I think that we should keep hypersexualized materials and surgeries away from juveniles and let's keep that to the adults? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So once again, it's the disingenuous framing for me. It's the, it's the bad faith framing for me. It's the straight up lying while framing the details of the ideological disagreement for me. That's not what this issue is. That's not what the disagreement here is. This issue, if you're being honest, is that you don't believe that gay and trans people are good for society and you don't believe that because of your religion. That's the honest conservative Christian argument. It's not because people in the LGBTQIA plus community and their advocates are grooming kids. They're not. There's no proof of that. There is plenty of proof that people in conservative circles and people in Christian churches are grooming and abusing children. Like there's just so much evidence of that, but we won't be petty and go down that road. No, that's not your actual argument. Your actual argument is you don't think that being queer is moral or good for society because you think that that's what it says in the Bible. Period. Every other tactic that conservatives use when approaching this issue is just a bad faith, disingenuous attempt to mask the fact that they have a religious objection to queer people. And people on the left, we simply don't share that moral objection. We simply don't think that there is anything inherently immoral or unethical about queer people existing. We acknowledge the reality that queer people do exist. We acknowledge the reality that queer children exist. And we believe it is in the best interest of the social health of not only queer children, but children everywhere and people everywhere to just acknowledge the reality of queer people and to live in harmony and peace and love with them. I don't want to mince words with you here. We are annoyed and frustrated and triggered by your beliefs on this issue because we find them to be desperately lacking in sufficient evidence. We find them to be ignorant and we find them to be bigoted. Is that I believe in Jesus? I don't give a shit that you believe in Jesus. Nobody does. Frankly, I wish you all acted a lot more like him. Is it because I am outright incapable of doing the mental gymnastics to deny biology? No, it's because you quite literally don't know the first thing about biology. I'm sure that you subscribe to the conservative Christian belief that there are two genders and only two genders and that that is an immutable biological reality. Right out of the gate, you're just wrong. You're just factually, scientifically wrong. They're just simply factually are way more than two ways that humans present biologically, anatomically, chromosomally, the list goes on and on. No mental gymnastics required, just a basic willingness to learn new information. Is it that I use my platform to speak out against child sex trafficking? Like, which part- Oh my god, I hate this. This brain-meltingly stupid insinuation that conservatives are against child sex trafficking, which means that leftists and liberals are for child sex trafficking. Like, it's so crazy to me that the premise of this whole video is that you don't understand why people on the left are annoyed with you. You can't think of a reason why someone on the left would be mean to you or dislike you, and you're out here with a platform of 150,000 Instagram followers baselessly accusing millions of people of supporting child sex trafficking. Like, it's because you do stuff like this. Well, meanwhile, and yeah, I'm gonna get petty here, if we were to actually keep score on which political ideology is more guilty of sex crimes against children, it's conservative Christianity 
in a landslide. It's not even close. It's so embarrassing that you pretend not to be aware of this stuff. And I say pretend because I honestly don't buy for a second that I'm the first person who's told you any of this stuff. You're a politically active conservative content creator. There's just no way you've never heard leftist ideology adequately described to you before. But here you are making a video where you're pretending like no one's ever been able to give you a good argument. And that right there might just be the most aggravating thing about, yeah, conservatives in general, but you in particular. Which part of conservative beliefs are you so mad about? And can you make it make sense that you hate me because I believe in these things? Yeah, and I think I just did. I think I just did a pretty good job, so. But I will say, I don't hate you. I don't know you, so I, I, don't, I don't hate you. Because the only answer I can find is that you're fulfilling prophecy, which I'm okay with. Okay, you are testing the limits of my will to not hate a stranger on the internet. Idiotic nonsense, feeling like a fountain overflowing with no one knowing the difference between wrong and right all day and all damn night. I got morons on my left and more on my right.